What's Gucci everyone? It's AJ here and I'm making this video to show you guys how to permanently delete files that you have pushed or committed to your repository to your remote repository and that you've forgotten to get rid of in past commits. So let me set the stage up for you guys. So as you can see here, I've got two commands up here in the top left and I've got my terminal up to a git repository. I have one called bootstrap. And as you can see, if I do um, a list command here, which I have aliased as lsla, I have a dot, I have a dot git folder and a dot git ignore. And the dot git ignore has nothing in it right now, but I have a dot ds store uh, file, which Mac automatically generates for me. And I want to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do here, we can also imagine that .ds store here is a big password folder or, or DS store is something I, you know, I really don't want my users to see and something that I really want to get rid of. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys that I have improperly added it because you can improperly add a lot of things, especially when you're using git add dot. So I do git add dot and git commit and I'm going to do git commit added DS store and I don't want to do this but you know you can do it on accident if you don't check what you're pushing a lot of times or you know I need naive you can accidentally push something and that's perfectly okay you know I mean you should be allowed to make mistakes and get that's the point of get right it's to be able to correct your mistakes overall now that and even if you even if what you push is a mistake that should be okay so I just pushed right there using regular get commands and this is my remote repository and this has everything I want. And I just updated it with a new commit. And as you can see, my .ds store file is right there. And again, I don't want that. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do, you got, most of you may know this, but I'm, it's just a quick refresher. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my docket ignore file because I know I don't, I don't want that there anymore. And so now that I have my .get ignore file, I'm gonna do .ds store. It's just each each line is a file, so .ds store spelled exactly the way I want it, and I am now going to use um, my git remove method to remove it from the index from to remove it from the index area, so it's not indexed anymore, or the staging area, and then I'm going to re-add everything so that the git ignore is again is is basically reapplied to now my repository and that the .ds store file is not added. So let me show you. So now I'm going to do git remove cached which is the option to remove everything from the staging area not to remove everything permanently because if you did git remove dot that would just remove everything in your repository so then i'm going to do the r switch which is recursive so what it's going to do is it's going to remove everything in every folder and even in every subfolder and even in the subfolders of subfolders i'm going to do it off for everything and as you can see all my files are deleted and by deleted sorry i mean removed from the staging area so I'm going to clear that, and now I'm going to do a git add dot, and a git commit, and now I'm going to do, before I do that, I'll do a git status to see what I've staged, and as you can see here, it says, I'm, it says what I've deleted here, so I've deleted, or I've not, you know, I've not staged any of the DS store files, so doing that git rm command, cache command has essentially removed everything from the staging area, and added everything back, but not adding what's in the .git ignore because now it since I updated the git ignore it looks at the git ignore and sees oh I don't want ds file there ds store there so now I'm free to commit because I've removed files removed ds store and now I can push so now I'm going to push and let's update let's go here and update my github repository and as you can see here for law I've updated I have 18 commits now right here and my ds store file is gone isn't that awesome so now i'm going to so that is pretty cool i'm getting ahead of myself here but we have a big problem we have a problem that you may not even think about so on the outside on my main commit you know the top the head of my git structure my git tree there's no ds folder but let's say again imagine the ds folder had some important passwords important information maybe the government's trying to steal from you and i really really never want anyone to see that well, if I was if I was a hacker, if I was really tricky, since Git, you know, Git allows you to correct your mistakes, I can look back in my Git, go to my commits. I'll show again and look at all my previous commits. I can look at exactly how they were at that time of the commit. So if I go to added DS store spelled wrong, I can look at this commit. 
And then I can click Browse Code right here in GitHub. You can do this in any soft repository. GitHub makes it very easy for you. And click to add a code. So now you notice it said 18 commits. Now it's at 17 because this is at this is a snapshot of what it was when I committed last time, when only 17 commits. And that DS store file is there because this is the 17th commit. I did not do anything. I this is my this is the problem this main video is trying to solve is that if I go back some commits my unwanted files are still there. You know, I want no one to look at them. I want no one to ever see them. I want to permanently delete it from Git, the Git structure entirely. I don't want anyone to be able to look at it except for my private local computer. So the way we're going to do this here is with something awesome called BFG. And what BFG does is it's a repo cleaner. It does exactly this. If you search for things on the internet, you get a lot of like git filter branch commands and you have to do like five of them and it can get pretty complicated. And so what I wanted to do is make it easy and show you guys how easy it is to use the git, this BFG um, re repo cleaner that does everything for you. And so that is pretty nice. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to click this download button and download it keep it and so wait till it downloads you know it takes a second it's a jar file and then what you want to do is wherever you are you want to run this command I'll have it in the comments you want to create a link from your BFG folder to your path if you want a more specific example of how this command is working I'll have a there's a, a video of how I connect sublime to my path and I explain this in more detail but simply I need the path of where my downloaded jar is to one of my um to where my path is, which for me I'm going to do my user local bin, and I'm going to call it BFG, which is what the name of the program is. So if I do that and press enter, I get the it file already exists. That's because I've already made the link for you. Okay, so that that's pretty cool. So what I did is I made a link, so I always the BFG is now linked to, the, to that command. And what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to, as the documentation says, I'm going to run BFG delete files and then the name of that the name of that file, which is .ds store, not what I have right here, which is .ds store. So now I'm going to delete that file, and what this is going to do is it's going to solve all my problems. It's going to go back in the previous commits and just fill out my working tree and get rid of that file across all working trees. So I'm going to press enter and all this stuff is going to happen and it's going to say, it's going to give me all this information. It's going to give me which commits it um, followed, but it's going to change my structure for me. And now all I simply have to do is I have to do a git push. And so since now I've corrected this problem, I'm going to do a git push. And usually I found out I need to force the push because it thinks that now my branch is above. And so I pushed it right here. And so now I'm going to go back to my repository. So you're about to see the magic of this BFG thing. I have here, this is my most recent commit, my 18th commit. As you can see, the DS file is deleted. And now I'm going to go to my dirty commit or the commit that was wrong. And as you can see here, um, I'm here. I go to browse code again. Um, as you can see here, nothing is shown up as changing. That's very interesting. I believe last time I went, it showed that I had, you know, changed the DS store file. And as you can see, I successfully deleted that DS store from that 17th commit, from that previous commit. Now, I'll, I'll show you again. So when I click here, my main thing, I'm going to go back to the head of my repository, and I'm going to go back to it, but dot .git dot .ds store is not there anymore. I've completely deleted it from the master branch, which is awesome. You need to run this BFG command for each branch you are on. The documentation on it is really easy and really great. And you know, all these three commands do everything you need to do. And so I was able to delete that file completely from my remote repository. And thus no one can see it. No one can look at it. You can just see that commit. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great day.